A girl of mass 40 kg jumps with a horizontal velocity of 5 m per second onto a stationary cart with frictionless wheel. The mass of the cart is 3 kg. What is her velocity? As the cart starts moving, assume that there is no external unbalanced force working in the horizontal direction. There is a girl and there is a cart. This girl is having a mass of 40 kg and the mass of cart is 3 kg. It is given in the question. And the velocity of girl is 5 m per second when she is jumping. And the cart is at rest, means the cart is not moving. The velocity of cart is zero before the interaction. Interaction means before she jumps onto that cart. Now we can write the given values in the question. That is the first step of all the numerical. Mass of girl m is 40 kg. Velocity of girl v 5 m per second. Mass of cart is m 3 kg. This girl is jumping onto the cart and after jumping, after the interaction, Cart and girl are moving with the same velocity, means they are moving together. We need to find the velocity of girl and cart together. That's the question. How we can find the velocity here? We need to apply law of conservation of momentum. It states that total momentum before interaction equal to total momentum after interaction. Now the girl is jumping onto that cart with a velocity of 5 meter per second. Now there is an interaction between the girl and cart and they are moving together. What is the what will be this velocity when the girl and cart are moving together? What, is, what will be the velocity of this motion that we need to find? Velocity of girl and cart together. How we can find that? Here we need to apply law of conservation of momentum. For that we need to find the total momentum before interaction and total momentum after interaction first we can find total momentum before interaction total momentum before interaction we can find using this equation total momentum equal to momentum of girl plus momentum of cart what will be the momentum of girl what is momentum momentum is the product of mass and velocity right here momentum of girl how can we find momentum of girl we can multiply mass of girl and velocity of girl 40 into 5 Similarly, how we can find momentum of cart, mass of cart into velocity of cart before interaction, right? Before interaction, the velocity of cart is zero. The cart is at rest. The cart is not moving before interaction. Then total momentum, total momentum will be 40 into 5 plus zero. Total momentum equal to 40 into 5 plus zero, which will be equal to 200 kilogram meter per second. Total momentum is 40 into 5, 200 kilogram meter per second. Now we can find total momentum of girl and cart together. Momentum of girl and cart together. What is total mass? It will be 40 plus 3, 43. And velocity, that velocity we need to find. Then it will be momentum of girl and cart together equal to 43 into V. Which will be equal to momentum of girl, momentum of girl and cart together is equal to 43 into V. Now we can compare these two momentum. These two momentums are equal according to law of conservation of momentum. According to law of conservation of momentum, total momentum before interaction equal to total momentum after interaction. We can write 200 equal to 43 into V. From this equation, we can make an equation for V. V will be equal to 200 by 43 equal to 4.65 meter per second the velocity of girl and car together is velocity v is equal to 4.65 meter per second two hockey players of opposite teams while trying to hit a hockey ball on the ground collide and immediately become entangled one has a mass of 60 kilogram and was moving with a velocity of 5 meter per second while the other has a mass of 55 kg and was moving faster with a velocity of 6 m per second towards the first player. In which direction and with what velocity will they move after they become entangled? Assume that the frictional force acting between the feet of the two players and ground is negligible. There are two hockey players. One hockey player is moving with velocity of 5 m per second and mass of that hockey player is 60 kg. And second hockey player is moving with a velocity of 6 m per second, mass of ho that hockey player is 55 kg. First we can write first player and second player and the mass of first player is 60 kg and velocity is 5 meter per second. Here it is second player, 55 kg is the mass of second player and velocity is 6 meter per second. They are moving together, right? They are moving in opposite direction. They are going to interact. They are going to entangle. 
in which direction and with what velocity will they move after they become entangled that we need to find after interaction in which direction they are going to move and what will be the velocity of this motion that we need to find here now we can find momentum before interaction by convention left to right is taken as positive direction thus right to left is a negative direction for velocity velocity is a vector quantity right when we are taking the direction left to right is positive velocity right to left is negative velocity this player is moving from left to right so it is positive velocity we can write the values of velocities and mass m1 is 60 kg and velocity v1 is 5 meter per second here m2 is 55 kg and v2 is minus 6 minus 6 meter per second here we are taking this one as positive velocity here it is negative velocity how we can find the momentum it is before interaction right what is the total momentum before interaction momentum is m1 v1 which will be equal to 60 into 5 equal to 300 kilogram meter per second here it will be m2 v2 momentum is 55 into minus 6 it will be minus 330 kilogram meter per second now we can find total momentum how we can find total momentum just add it when we are adding total momentum will be equal to 300 plus minus 330 which will be equal to minus 30 kilogram meter per second now we got total momentum before interaction now we are going to find the momentum after interaction after interaction they are moving together they entangled right now they are moving together now what will be the mass total momentum is equal to what will be the momentum total momentum equal to total mass into velocity the total momentum is equal to total mass is 60 plus 55 the masses of first mass of first player is 60 mass of second player is 55 then we can write 60 plus 55 this velocity we need to find in which velocity they are going to move and in which direction they are going to move that we need to find the velocity we need to find we know that according to law of conservation of momentum total momentum before interaction equal to total momentum after interaction so we can write according to law of conservation of momentum total momentum before interaction equal to total momentum after interaction then we can write minus 30 equal to 60 plus 55 into v it is total momentum before interaction it is total momentum after interaction it will be minus 30 equal to 115 into v from this we can write equation for v v is equal to minus 30 upon 115 which will be equal to minus 0.26 meter per second it is the velocity is in negative right so what will be the direction of velocity it is negative velocity means the players will move from right to left two entangled players would move with the velocity 0.26 meter per second from right to left if action is always equal to reaction explain how a horse can pull a cart there is a horse and it's a cart action is the horse is exerting a, an action on the surface of earth and the earth is exerting reaction on horse Mo that is the reason for the movement in forward direction action is in backward direction action is on the surface of earth and reaction is on horse Horse pushes the ground in backward direction, it is action. According to Newton's third law, there will be reaction also. The earth will exert this reaction force in the forward direction. As a result, the cart moves forward. Explain why is it difficult for a fireman to hold a hose, which ejects large amount of water at a high velocity. Here you can see there are two firemen and one fireman is supporting other because when there is an ejection of water, huge amount of water with high velocity. There will be reaction also. The reaction will be in backward direction. The water is going in forward direction. The reaction will be in backward direction. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. Large amount of water will, large amount of water with high velocity being ejected from the pipe, it will make equal action on the pipe. So it is very difficult for a fireman to hold the pipe. From a rifle of mass 4 kg, a bullet of mass 50 g is fired with an initial velocity of 35 meter per second. Calculate the initial recoil velocity of the rifle. There is a rifle and the velocity of bullet is 0 meter per second because the bullet is at rest. Now we cannot see the bullet, it is inside the gun. 
bullet is at rest 0 meter per second the mass of bullet is 50 gram and mass of gun is 4 kilogram and velocity of gun which is recoil velocity that we need to find there are two cases the momentum here there is no doubt we need to apply law of conservation of momentum there are two cases law of cons according to law of conservation of momentum total momentum before firing equal to total momentum after firing there are two cases before firing and after firing when we are considering before firing the velocity will be zero for bullet as well as gun because both are at rest now the bullet is coming out the velocity of bullet is 35 meter per second mass of bullet is 50 gram and when the bullet is coming out the gun moved backward right we can see that again the gun moved backward that velocity is recoil velocity we need to find that velocity and mass of gun is 4 kilogram now we can find the recoil velocity using law of conservation of momentum there are two cases before firing and after firing first we can find total momentum before firing before that we need to convert we need to convert mass of bullet it is given in uh, gram we need to convert that in kilogram 50 by 1000 equal to 0 0.05 kilogram 0 0.05 kilogram total momentum before firing equation is mv plus mv the equation for momentum is m into v it is a product of mass and velocity before firing the velocity of gun and velocity of bullet are zero right then it will be zero total momentum will be zero plus zero total momentum equal to zero kilogram per second after firing we need to find the momentum total momentum is m into v plus m into v m v m into v means we can give the mass of bullet and velocity of bullet which is mass of bullet is 0 0.05 kilogram and velocity of bullet is 35 meter per second 0 0.05 into 35 plus mass of gun is 4 into recoil velocity we need to find then it will be 0 0.05 into 35 plus 4 into v total momentum equal to 1.75 plus 4 into v total momentum is 1.5 plus 4 into v 0 0.05 into 35 is 1.75 According to law of conservation of momentum, total momentum before firing equal to total momentum after firing. We can compare these two values. Then it will be 0 equal to 1.75 plus 4V. From the, this equation, we can find equation for 4V. 4V will be equal to minus 1.75. Here it is positive 1.75. When we are taking this number to the other side of equal, it will be minus 1.75. And V is equal to minus 1.75 by 4 which is equal to v is equal to minus 0 0.43 meter per second the negative sign indicate the gun is moving backward it is recoil velocity the recoil velocity of gun is minus 0 0.43 meter per second two objects of masses 100 gram and 200 gram are moving along the same line and direction with velocities 2 meter per second and 1 meter per second respectively they collide and after the collision the first object moves at a velocity of 1.67 meter per second determine the velocity of second object there, there are two objects these two objects are in motion the velocities are given in the question we need to find the velocity of second object after the collision if there is a problem like this, we need to apply the equation of law of conservation of momentum, which is total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. Means m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. What is the value of m1? m1 is equal to 100 gram and m m1 equal to, we need to convert that into kilogram. It will be 100 by 1000 equal to 0.1 kilogram and m2 is 200 gram we need to convert that also 200 by 1000 0.2 kilogram then what is u1 u1 is 2 meter per second and u2 is 1 meter per second we need to v1 is 1.67 meter per second we need to find v2 how we can find v2 we can substitute all the values in this equation instead of m1 we can use 0.1 instead of u1 we can use point instead of u1 we can use 2 instead of m2 we can use 0.2 instead of u2 we can use 1 v1 is 1.67 if we are substituting all the values we will get 0 0.01 into 2 plus 0 0.02 into 1 equal to 0 0.01 into 1.67 plus 0 0.02 into v2 we need to find this v2 
how we can find this v2 first we are solving everything here it will be 0 0.1 0 0.01 into 2 is equal to 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 into 1 is equal to 0 0.02 equal to 0 0.01 into 1.67 is 0 0.0167 plus 0 0.02 into v2 here it is 0 0.04 equal to 0 0.0167 plus 0 0.02 into v2 here we are taking this 0 0.0167 to the other side it will be 0 0.02 into v2 equal to 0 0.04 minus 0 0.0167 it will be 0 0.02 into v2 equal to 0.023 we are subtracting this value then after that v2 will be equal to here it is multiplication we are taking that to the other side it will be v2 equal to we are taking this 0.02 to 0 0.02 to the other side of equal it will be 0 0.02 by 0 0.023 by 0 0.02 it will be v2 equal to 1.15 meter per second the velocity of second object after collision is 1.15 meter per second Subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com